Hey, Tommy. Hey, Kevin. How are you? What are we thinking of building today? I'm thinking about building a kind of an easy project. It's going to be a closed rack that you can disassemble. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. The reason for that is a lot of college kids take it. They need a place to hang their clothes. They can pack it up, put it away when they're done, pack it up, and bring it back home. I don't think college kids hang their clothes. Yeah, that's true. It's just go on. But anyway, <laughs> I get the point. So uh, it looks like you got an A-frame, right, on each side. So there'll be two of those. Yeah, and then there's a close pole at the top. And then on the bottom, we'll make a slatted rack or a shelf to put shoes. Gotcha. Okay. And uh, maple? Yeah, this is one by four maple. I like maple a lot. It's beautiful wood. It's hard. It really is uh, durable, but it's tough to stain. Mm. But it does take paint well if you wanted paints, to go that route. It paints it beautifully. Nice. All right. And because it's going to be something that you can take apart, I want to make sure that we take it apart easy. So you think of a nut and a bolt, but we're not going to have a situation where we can through bolt something. We're going to actually screw into the end grain of the wood and there'd be no way to hold that nut right. for the screw. And a traditional wood screw is not going to be any good because that would hold once or twice, but if you just sort of keep coming and going, taking it apart, putting it back together, you're going to get slop. Yeah, the hole's going to get too big. So you're thinking what? So we're going to use what is called a threaded insert mm -hmm. right there and a furniture bolt. So what we need to do is drill a little bigger hole than the bolt itself and screw this piece into the wood and then screw the machine thread into that thread, and they can take it apart and put it together as many times as they want, and it won't break down. I think I get it. Okay, how do you want to get started? All right, so I've got a whole cut list here. Gives us all our lengths and widths. All right. Plain and simple. All right, so now we've taken the four legs and we've taped them together to make it one. We need to drill a hole at the top and a hole in the bottom. So what I did is I measured down nine inches here and 50 plus inches down there. I made a little jig so you will hold the drill straight in both directions. We're going to do the other one. Center your line, line up the spacing, go for it. Okay, so we removed all our tape and our pieces are all set individually. Okay, next thing I need to do is I need to find the angle for the legs and how they sit on the floor, flat. And so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna take a bolt and put it in that top pivot point right there, and we're gonna spread it apart. Now I know the number of the rack that we're gonna put on the bottom, and what I did is I took a scrap piece of wood and I drilled a hole to the center of the pieces that make up the wrap. I'm gonna take a bolt, I'm gonna drop it in the hole, I'm now going to line the board up, put it in the hole, and now that holds the leg into position and shows where the rack's going to go. Hmm. And this is the angle that I need to match the floor so it sits flat. Gotcha. To follow that angle, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a speed square, I'm going to put it on the edge, I'm going to slide it up until it stops and is parallel with my stick right here. Now I look at my angle and it says 10 degrees. I take my speed square, I flip it around and I want to be 10 degrees right there and that will establish the angle that I want off the floor. So I just take it up like that, use my square as a measurement. I'll take it and flip it over. Again, use 10 degrees, use my square as a measurement, mark it. There's my angle, there's my height, both left and right. All we gotta do is cut them. Very cool.
Okay, our legs are done, and now we're ready to assemble the rack. And the rack is going to have a long piece that's going to go from leg to leg on each side, mm -hmm. and short pieces that are going to go inside like that. We're going to keep them back just as a look yep. on each end. All, all of these were cut up earlier and ripped. Yep, all out of the one by four. And uh, I think what we'll do there is just start with the center and divide it out that way. So you want a center line here yep. and then two center lines on each side? Exactly. You mark those. I'm going to mark the center lines of these because we're going to put this all together with floating tenons. And we've got to drill the mortise hole next. All right, so now we're going to start the assembly and we're going to hold the bottom rack together with a loose mortar and tenon joint. So if you want to just get some glue in the joint. Perfect. Now to make the close pole, I actually took two pieces of the one by four ripped in half and glued them together. Now the idea of that is it makes it nice and strong. It's almost like a piece of engineered lumber. But I want to round over the close pole. To do that, we're going to use a half inch quarter round round over bit. We'll run it down each side. And I cut a piece of scrap the same height as the close pole. I'm going to use this on the outside of the router to keep it from tipping off. All right, now we just sand that up. Now we want to cut the pole to length. Now we're ready to install the threaded inserts. Two in the pole and four in the rack. I can't be certain. I feel like I'm doing all the work. You are. <laughs> I'm just trying to give you a downforce. Okay, just pull Perfect. that. Okay, go ahead. So we'll work it down nice and easy, making sure we don't strip the wood. Also making sure that we're lined up. There you go. That's the end of it right there. Nice and tight. Looks pretty good, huh? Yeah, looks really good. Place to hang your shirts, put your boots. And uh, I guess you gotta figure out if you're gonna stain it or paint it. Yeah, I mean, that's the only decision. I mean, it's one of those products, like you said earlier, they really do paint nicely. I, uh, I had Sue send me your wardrobe so we could oh, try yeah. it out. Oh, oh geez. yeah. She didn't mix anything up, did you? Whole yeah. week's worth of clothes. Yeah. She sent me your Monday shirt. Yeah. That's right, that's right. Your Tuesday shirt. That's right. This is, a, I don't know why, that's your Wednesday so shirt. That's the way, that way I know half the week's gone. Oh, this is your Thursday shirt. Right, and I got Friday on. Mm, yep, I think it's time you hung it up, Pop. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for us. So until next week, I'm Kevin O'Connor. I'm Tom Silva for Ask This Old House. Do you have anything that isn't blue? Thanks for watching. This Old House has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.